Hi, this is Nick Carraz of Clips and Handles here to bring you a very exciting tutorial on working with M Glitter in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. M Glitter is a set of 50 drag and drop effects that you can use in any of your video edits. All you need to do is take the M Glitter and change its blend mode. I'm going to get you up and running of how to work with these 4K phantom flex filmed effects in any of your projects. That's an HD project or that's a 4K project. So here in my source monitor, I have a couple M Glitter effects loaded up and I just wanna show you how beautiful these are. So if I select this and just hit the space bar, look at that natural flowing glitter that we see here on this one clip. I'm gonna hit shift two because I have a few of these loaded in. Here's another example. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful because it was shot in slow motion, again on a 4K Phantom Flex camera. And that allows for a lot of flexibility in our workflow. So if we're working in HD and you have 4K footage, we have the ability to scale up that footage to twice the size to integrate into our project. So I can take this glitter and scale it up that much more without any quality loss. Here's yet another example. I'll just hit the space bar so we can get a sense for that. So I just wanna take one of these effects and simply drag it into the timeline so we can get a sense for how we can work with these. So I've got a few of those discharges. I'm gonna go up to discharge number nine to start with. You can see that it loads up. And I'm just gonna make a quick couple in and out points on this clip. So I'm gonna hit I for in. And a few seconds later, I'll make O for out. So I'll take this effect and I'm gonna simply just drag it into my timeline on the V2 track as a overwrite edit. And using my regular trim tool, I'll trim it back so it's the exact length of the clip underneath it. Right now, we don't see that clip on video one. I'm just gonna turn off the eye here so we can see that clip. And I want to sort of mix the two together. How I do that is I select the clip on top, simply go to effect controls, and under my opacity settings, my opacity parameters, here are the blend modes. And I wanna simply change this clip from a normal to a screen. We can try other blend modes, but this is gonna work best to knock out the black in the clip. You can see right now that the glitter, right, is now mixing with the woman and her balloons underneath. It's quite beautiful and visual. Now, on top of this, this actual sequence is 1920 by 1080. And if I double click the glitter clip, in the program monitor. And what I'm gonna do is change this from fit to 10% to show you that this is the actual size of the glitter effect. It's 4K, so it's double or almost triple the size of the 1920 by 1080 sequence. So I can scale it up all the way to this amount that you see here without any quality loss. Or if I wanted to, also just scale it down so I see more of the glitter on the screen. This is the incredible flexibility with working with this 4K M glitter effect inside of Premiere Pro. And if we just take a, another example, we can see all that glitter, a lot more of it on the screen in our 1920 by 1080 project. Where things get really interesting is your ability to not only take this effect, I'm gonna actually take it, option click it to make a copy onto the V3 track. And with the second copy, I'm gonna go under my motion parameters and scale that one up to 100%. So this is the full 4K quality we have in the 1920 by 1080 project. I'll also rotate that clip so it's a little bit different than the glitter underneath. And on the first frame of this clip, I'm also gonna bring down the clip's opacity. So not only am I playing with the clip's blend mode here, but also by playing with the clip's opacity, we can bring down the strength of the effect. So I brought down the strength on my first duplicate. If I go to the original, I'll do the same thing. I'll bring down its strength as well so it's not as harsh over the video clips. And all of a sudden now I have two glitter effects in my project of different sizes, right? And different opacity settings. To further make a couple different variances in this to, to bring out some believability, I'm gonna take the clip on top. I'm gonna go to clip speed duration. So this was shot slow motion, but you have all these different speed effects that you can work with in Premiere Pro 2 to add a little bit of variance if you're mixing various M glitter effects together. So here under these settings, I wanna set the speed of this clip to 60%. And I'm gonna make sure 
that my interpolation, this is in the new Premiere Pro CC 2015, is set to optical flow. It's just gonna give me a better speed effect. Once I press OK, you'll notice that that clip has indeed slowed down. I'm gonna hit the backslash key to see everything, and I'm just gonna trim this clip back. So I've got one effect at a different speed than the other, so there, there is some variation between the two of them. So I got another example of M glitter I wanna show you in this basic overview. Here in this project, I have a love symbol that was taken from the Distillery District, and I have some M glitter loaded here on the left-hand side. I'd like to show this M glitter over top of this clip, but I only want it to show up in the heart. So first of all, let me just drag the glitter down into the project. And first thing, I'll hit the backslash key just to trim this back. Of course, get, keep in mind, you can also play with the timing of that clip using speed effects. And so that we can see the glitter mixed with the footage underneath, again, I'm gonna go to effect controls, under opacity, change my blend mode to screen. Now, I wanna limit this glitter, which is extremely strong right now, just to be inside the heart. So this is how I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna, first of all, option click to make a copy of the love clip on the V1 track. So I'm option clicking and dragging and dragging the copy to V3. On the copy, one thing that I wanted to show you is if we look in effect controls, there is a opacity setting for the clip. And in the opacity settings are built-in tracking controls which can make for some beautiful isolation effects. So here, I'm just gonna isolate the heart. How I'll do that is I'm gonna go to the first frame of the clip and select the free draw bezier tool I want to start to click and make some points around my heart. Perfect. So now I've masked out my heart. And if we take a look at it here, I'm just going to turn off my V2 and V1 track so we're not confused. You can see here that I have a mask right now around the just the heart. So the next thing is I just want to basically tell this glitter effect to only show up in the heart symbol and showing up everywhere else. I have a nice easy trick for that. It's we can use an effect. So I'm going to go into my effects tab right now behind my bin and type in the word track because what I'm looking for is a track matte key effect. I'm going to take the track matte key effect and drag it onto V2. And what we're going to do is ask the M glitter shimmer to look at the above track. That's the V3 track. And look at its alpha channel. In this case, the alpha channel happens to be, uh, after we've drawn the mask, is that everything outside of the mask is completely transparent, while everything inside the mask is, of course, what we want to keep. So it's looking at that, and now you can see the glitter shows up only within the heart. It's a little bit strong, so I'm going to go into the M glitter shimmer effect and just play or bring down its opacity. So it mixes a bit better in our clip. And I only have one more problem, and that problem is the inner heart. The solution for this is I have to take this above clip and throw it inside a nest and then basically mask out the middle of the shape here. So here I'll select that clip and go clip, nest. And I'm just gonna, just to keep this track, I'm gonna type, I'll call this inside mask. You'll see here that that clip gets placed into a new sequence. And under my opacity settings, I'm gonna grab that free draw Bezier tool and yet again, change up that heart symbols. Cool. So I've masked out here the middle of the shape uh, after I threw the clip inside the sequence. But what I want is instead of the glitter showing up now inside the inner mask is to show up just in the heart symbol that we masked originally. So I'm gonna invert this and now we have what we want. We've got just the M glitter effect isolated to the heart here. We still have the problem of motion within this shot. It's very subtle, but you can see that there is a little bit of sway here uh, in the heart where the M glitter slightly gets thrown off. The solution for this, while well, I could use Premiere Pro's built-in tra tracking technology of the mask, in this case, what I'm gonna do is select all of these clips I'm gonna to go to clip and throw them into yet another nest. I'm gonna call this stabilize. So I'm gonna lock down this shot altogether. Under my effects tab, I'm gonna do a search for the warp stabilizer. I'm gonna select it, drag it onto the clip. 
You can see there that an analysis has already started. I'm going to set this instead the result from smooth motion to no motion. And as soon as this is done, I'll jump back at you just to show you the end result. So if I take a look here and just actually move my playhead throughout, you can see the M glitter stuck to the heart. And if I just give a quick playback here, not at full resolution, you can see the M glitter effect basically constrained as well as feeling part of the shot because we did a little bit of stabilization on all of the clips outright. And that's how easy it is to do some really great compositing tricks inside of Premiere Pro while using M glitter as well as Premiere Pro's built-in masking and stabilizing technology. Once again, I'm Nick Haraz of Clips and Handles, showing you some ways of being able to use M Glitter inside of Premiere Pro. Stay tuned some, for some more tutorials on using these drag and drop effects, not only M Glitter, but M Dust inside of Premiere Pro and After Effects. See you soon.